I'm Marty Johnson from 3D Systems. I'm a vice president of product and a technical fellow with the company. I've been with the company since 2007. The PSLA 270 is different in that it takes the best properties of figure four, our projector-based technology, and the materials portfolio of figure four, which are high performance, real long-lasting engineering materials. And it places those with a simplicity of our SLA, which we've had since 1987. So we were able to take the simplicity and the reliability and pull the best of those together into one product. One of the things that you get from this solution is you can now start thinking about real production products. Because you have the VAT, you have small supports, minimal supports, uh, low differential shrinkage, and to you be able to take advantage of those high performance materials, you put those in that environment, you get repeatability and you get the accuracy and you get the reliability. All that combined together really opens a door to do real production parts. The figure four material portfolio will start off with some of our favorites like Pro Black 10, our rigid white, our rigid gray. We've got the tough FR V0, which is a flame retardant material one of the, the really early FR materials in additive manufacturing that provides toughness that's different than typical FRs, which are brittle. So it gives you the ability to use those materials as well as some of our other high temps uh, materials and even some dental materials. One of the great things about the material sets is it opens us up across a lot of different industries. So. The VAT also gives us first article success. We get good part orientation. So service bureaus that need that first article success, that need the speed of printing into either next day or same day shipping, they have that capability to pull that into the service bureau industry. That also translates into the additive labs within industries themselves, whether it's a consumer goods or durable goods, they need to have that rapid uh, turnaround on their parts. But what we really are able to get into now is looking at consumer goods and durable goods for end-use products. And that's driven by the, the materials that I mentioned earlier. Uh, the dental applications are another one for dental labs as we start looking to how we can do arches because of the speed and being able to print a full plate of arches in like 30 minutes. And so that gives them the capability to get that fast turnaround and be able to serve their customers out of the dental labs. We're looking at the release date coming out in Q3 this year. And so we're real excited about that. Uh, we're real excited to get this out into the field, into people's hands, so they can really take advantage of some of the great things that the team has done on this product. A product we're really excited about just because it's different. And it's not just different, but it's simple, it's reliable, and it's accurate. So super excited to get this into people's hands and see what the customers do with it.